Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in and flowing with me today. This video is a flexibility flow working deep flexibility towards front splits and middle splits. So we'll get deep into our quads, our hamstrings, and hip flexors. Those will be the three large muscle groups we'll be working today. So go ahead and find an easy seated position. We'll jump right into this. Bring your attention to your breath and take some big rolls in the shoulders, releasing tension through your upper body. Take your knees wide on your mat, your big toes to touch. Reach your hands out far in front of you. Press your hips over to the right, draw a big circle and back to the left. Continue drawing circles in a counterclockwise motion, beginning to warm up the hips. I do incorporate lots of dynamic movements in my flows, so we will be getting warm throughout the process of this video. But it's always a good pointer to warm up a little beforehand, even if that's a hot shower or a 15 minute jog, whatever. You need to just get your muscles nice and warm, ready to go. If you haven't switched directions yet, go ahead and do so. And next time your hips are at the back of the motion, hold in that child's pose. Sink as low as you can as you rock your hips left to right opening your knees a little wider, sinking deep into your hips, actively pressing them towards your heels. Continue rocking side to side. Maybe you bring it more into your shoulders as your hips have sunk as deep as they can go for now. Continue breathing. And we'll bring ourselves through all fours to down dog. Once you find down dog, have some active dynamic movements here, bending into one knee, then the other. Stretch out through one hamstring, then the other. Continue this movement, do anything here that feels good to you as long as you're feeling a stretch along the backs of your legs, that's the goal here. Continue to press strong through your hands and your shoulders, supporting your upper body and your spine. Hold one leg straight and the other bent. And switch sides. Walk your feet wide to the edges of your mat. Continue to make any movements here that help you warm up into your hamstrings. Find some stillness, hold on one side. And switch sides. on back to center inhale lift your heels and exhale set them down towards the mat lift and lower lift and lower lift and lower continue here a few more times Eventually step your feet all the way up to meet your hands. Take hands at opposite elbows, allow your spine to hang long, release through your upper back, your shoulders, allow everything to hang long. Go 
ahead and release your hands towards the floor. Inhale, find a nice flat back. And exhale, round down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, round down. Flat back, round down. So as you find your flat back now, try and straighten your legs a little more. Exhale, collapse. Inhale, flat spine, flat legs, and release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, collapse. Lengthen, collapse. Inhale, lengthen. Collapse. Lengthen and collapse. Continue this motion. Maybe you keep your hands on the floor as you move now. Finding a bit of a deeper stretch, lengthening out through the hamstrings just a little more, continuing this dynamic movement to lengthen and collapse in. Lengthen and crunch in. Continue here just a couple more times. Continue to move with your breath. And find some stillness. Take your legs as straight as they can go comfortably. Maybe a, that means a slight micro bend in your knee. And toe heel your feet wide to the edges of your mat. Grab opposite elbows. Allow everything to hang towards the floor. Bend into one knee and then the other. Shifting the weight of your hips side to side, bend left and bend right. You can bring your hands towards the mat or not. Continue here. A lot of dynamic motions at the beginning of this video to really open up, warm up the legs and the hips. Super important to prepare your body for deep stretches such as splits. So often people will jump right into it and not give your body the time your muscles the time to really relax so here we're preparing ourselves for a comfortable deep stretch and reducing the risk of injury find yourself in center walk your feet a little wider hold here Walk your hands gently to the left side. Inhale, find a nice flat spine and exhale, fold over your left leg. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold. Continue here, dynamic movement. Lengthen, exhale, fold. Lengthen and fold. Walk hands all the way through center and on over to the right side. Hold here. Lengthen and fold. Lengthen and fold. Lengthen and fold. Lengthen and fold. Try to make your way right back at center. Bring your hands a little further out in front of you here. So you're almost like a, 
like a down dog or a puppy pose with your upper body. As you tilt forward, you'll lift up high on your toes. As you sink back, heels will come down, press your hips up high towards the sky, press your chest a little closer towards your thighs. Inhale, come forward, lift your heels and exhale, press back. Come forward, lift up, press back, stretch. Forward, lift, back, stretch a little deeper. Forward, lift, back, stretch, press your chest a little closer towards the floor here. And forward, lift, back, sink down. Continue this motion forward and back. And go ahead and walk your feet in just a little bit closer so they come to about the edge of your mat. Sink your hips low. Find a deep squat and exhale, straighten out both legs. Inhale, deep squat. Exhale, straighten the legs. When you sink to your deep squat, make sure the weight is in your heels. Knees stay as far back as you can. Exhale, lengthen the legs. Inhale, sink low for that squat. And straighten the legs. Deep squat. Straighten out. Continue here. Squatting and lifting. Lots of movement going on here, so feel free to take it at your own pace. Do what feels good. Next time you come down, stay there. Bring your heels in towards one another. Allow your toes to face out diagonal towards the corners of your mat. We'll work our way towards garland pose or yogi squat here. Hands working towards heart center. Using your elbows to press your knees a little wider. See if you can balance here. Big stretch through the backs of the ankles as well. Hands will come wide on your mat as if you're setting up for a very wide based crow pose. Lean forward, allow your elbows to take your knees a little wider for an assisted frog. So it's as if you're doing a frog stretch on your elbows. A very, very wide crow pose. You can think of it that way too. Leaning forward and back. As long as you're feeling some opening in your hips here, you're doing it right. And this movement will look a little different on everybody. Hold where you feel your deepest stretch and take a few deep breaths there. With every exhale, allow yourself to sink in a little deeper. Maybe you release for a brief moment and sink back into it. And go ahead and return to your garland pose. Go ahead and release hands and knees to the floor. Now we'll work our way towards our frog stretch or our frog split. Now your alignment of Hips versus in line with the knees is up to you on this first frog split. Find where you feel your most stretch. For me, that's with my hips a little bit below my knees. For you, it might be when they're right in line with your knees. Continue to breathe here. With every exhale, allow yourself to sink a little lower. Allow your hip rotators to open a little more in those muscles of your inner thighs.
See if you can release a little more, allow your hips to come down a little lower. Maybe you adjust your positioning a little bit. Walk your hands slightly to the left side and gaze over your left shoulder. And over to your right side. Bring yourself back to center. Deep breath in. And exhale, sink a little lower. If you had your hips pressing back towards the back wall like I was, see if you can bring them right in line with your knees. If they were in line with your knees, see maybe you press them back a little bit. Just adjust, hit a bit of a different angle in your hip rotators. As we hold our frog stretch, you can play around with changing your upper body position. Sometimes by pressing into the floor and arching your upper back a little, you can actually put more pressure on your hips and allow for a deeper stretch. To come out of this posture, press with your hands as much as you can to take as much pressure off your knees as possible. Pull your knees in towards one another, come to all fours and rock out left and right, releasing the stretch in your hips. Keep your knees together, take a couple big rolls, moving counterclockwise. And switch directions, clockwise circles. And switching it up, forwards and backwards, pressing the hips forward, exhale, press back. It's getting some good movement in here. Next time you come forward, tuck your toes, send your hips high, downward facing dog, walk it out a little here. Next, inhale, send the left leg up high behind you. Exhale, pull that knee into chest and step it up in between the hands. Nice low lunge here. We'll begin to bend and extend. So bending the knee and straightening the knee. When you bend, you're working the flexibility of the hip flexor and the right leg. And when you straighten out that front leg, you're working hamstrings of the front leg. Continue bending and extending. Breathing deeply here. Always feel free to hold one stretch a little longer if that feels good. Come forward, bring your back knee all the way to the floor and lift it up. Drop the back knee and lift it up. Continue this movement and stay very conscious of the stretch in your right hip flexor. Keep actively pressing your hips down a little closer towards the floor, stretching that hip flexor. Drop the knee and lift the knee. Next time you lift the knee, hold there. Walk your hands to the top of your left thigh. Continue to press down. Stay strong. Lower that back knee all the way down. Stay in your low lunge here. Continue to breathe. I know this is a deep stretch. Reverse the stretch. Press your hips up and back. Stretching out that hamstring and we'll take our rocking motion forwards and backwards.
Again, working hip flexor on the forward motion and hamstrings on the backward motion. Next time you're in the hamstring stretch position, go ahead and hold there. Exhale, lunge forward. And if it feels good to sit up tall, taking some little bounces, go for it. Continue to breathe here. Only do this if it feels okay to your body. If it's too intense, hold the lunge. Inhale, the hands up high. Exhale through heart center. Reach up, exhale to heart center. Big cleansing breath, reach up. Heart center. Continue here. Take as many as you need. Sink a little deeper. Last one. Hands come down to either side of that front foot. Sink back for hamstring stretch. One more time. Come forward. Tuck the back toe. And we'll make our way up to pyramid pose. Nice flat back. Both legs stay straight. Hands can be on the floor or on your shin as you rock your hips forwards and backwards, finding that spot where you feel the deepest stretch, and that's where you're going to want to stay. Hold here. We keep breathing. Bring your weight into your front foot. Send your back leg up high. Continue pressing. And exhale. Meet and forward fold the top of your mat. Hang long here. And we'll begin that same series of stretches on the other side. Send your left leg back. Come into that low lunge with the right knee forward and begin to bend and straighten that front leg. Continue moving at your own pace. Next time you're low, stay there. Bend the back knee, drop it all the way down. Keep your hips as low as possible and lift that back knee up off the floor. Tap it down and lift it up. Continue tap and lift, tap and lift. Again, really opening up through your left hip flexors. Next time you're up, hold up, lift your chest, hands come to hips. Stay strong, hold here, deep breaths, and drop that back knee all the way down. Hands come to the top of the right thigh and exhale, press your hips back, big stretch. We'll begin lunging forwards and backwards. Again, move at your own pace with your own breath. If the forward motion or the backward motion just feels really good for you to stay there, stay there for a few breaths and switch it up. Always feel free to pause the video and continue your stretches. Hold in the hamstring stretch.
switch it up lunge forward hands come to the top of the right thigh and take those little bouncing motions if that felt good if you did it on the other side and find some stillness in how reach both hands up high and exhale through heart center reach up exhale heart center three more of those reach exhale reach exhale last one reach and exhale hands come down tuck that back toe find your pyramid pose on this side maybe you take some gentle rocks forward and back to find that spot with the deepest stretch and once you find it hold there find stillness and breathe Bring your weight to your front foot. Shake out both legs. If you sent the right leg high on the other side, go ahead and send your left leg high behind you on this side. Otherwise, find your way to your forward fold. Walk your hands the outside of your left foot. And through center to the outside of your right. right back at center and send your right leg back we'll begin working seriously on our front splits on both sides now so continue that forward back rocking motion with the left foot forward and how we're working getting into our front splits here is slowly walking either the front foot forward or the back foot back a little or both and rocking and rocking closer and closer to the floor if you have a yoga block it's a good idea to set it up under that front hip as you lower yourself down otherwise you can use your hands on either side of you stack up a stack of books really anything you can set up to prop you up a little higher so that you're not dropping into too intense of a stretch that's not good for improving flexibility that's good for pulling muscles <laughs> So really take your time. Feel free to pause the video, sink a little deeper. Take your own time stretching here. I'll just be showing some different variations on screen to allow you guys some time to stretch on your own practice. Continue to breathe, finding some different variations, some rocking motions, some wiggles in your splits. Here's an option to reach back for your back foot, looking over your right shoulder. You can get a nice added stretch in your back quad. Maybe you reach out, lean over your front leg, or take a little back bend when you're up tall. 
When you're ready to come out of your split on this side, continue that forward rocking and backward rocking motion until you come to all fours, loosen out your hips, some circles, some forward and back motions, shake out your legs, do anything you need to here to get you feeling good to get going on the other side. So when you're ready to stretch out your other splits, start out that forward rocking and back rocking lunging motion on this side. And I'll be showing just about the same techniques on this side. You'll probably notice one side is a little more less flexible than the other side and don't be afraid that's completely normal. I have that. Everyone most likely has that. We're all working to be a little more even and yoga lets us realize the asymmetries in our bodies, which is actually awesome that now that we're able to realize it, we know what we need to work on a little more. I'll give you guys these next couple minutes to work on your splits on the side. And when you're ready to remove yourself from your splits on that side, gently make your way to all fours. Continue rocking out the hips. Take any little wiggles that you need to. And we'll take one final stretch. Begin to sink back towards a wide knee child's pose here. And as you sink deeper into your child's pose, allow your knees to fall wider and wider as the big toes stay together for as long as they can for a frog stretch variation. And as you lay here longer, allow your knees to come wider and your feet can come apart, working towards a 90 degree angle at the hip at the knees and at the ankles flexing the feet as you find your way there breathe deeply Gently release the stretch by coming forward, shaking out the ankles a little bit, taking a big stretch on your mat. Stretch the arms out forward, your feet out behind you for a long spine, long body here. Deep breath in and exhale. Allow your body to melt down deeply supported by the floor below you. I want to thank you all for flowing and stretching with me today. I 
Hope I inspired some movements for you to incorporate in your personal practice and that you feel like you got a good stretch and made some good steps in working towards your splits. Splits are really all about consistency. You got to keep stretching, I say, at least two or three times a week to see some serious improvements. So keep with it. Good luck and keep me updated on your progress. I love to hear it. So leave your progress in the comments. Any questions that you have for me, I'd be happy to answer. Namaste.